It was uh, all started in 1984 when the art teacher in school said, I will teach you today uh, some calligraphy instead of drawing. So he held the chalk on the side and wrote some four letters of Ruqa style, which is very like basic style in calligraphy. But as a kid, this, this like, had a very big impact on me. Look at Arabic letters to come, come out as very beautiful form. So from that moment, calligraphy became an obsession. Usually the traditional way of learning calligraphy comes with, with the relationship of a, of a master and student. You have like a master, you study with him, he guides you in certain forms. But in my case, that was not available. I didn't have that luxury of having someone. So I depended on myself, depended on everyone I see him interested in calligraphy. I ask him, meeting some other colleagues. If we talk about calligraphy as an art form, we need to separate this from the traditional calligraphy. Because if we are talking about limitation, definitely there is a limitation. If you continue practicing, calligraphy and it's a traditional scripts. So that's a limitation by itself because, and this is, I, I believe it's one of the problems that calligraphy has. I mean, I'm not against like learning traditional scripts, definitely no. I mean, I myself, I've been doing now calligraphy for almost 35 years. But uh, I mean, I arrived to a point that if you continue like doing all only traditional scripts, at the end, you are just copying what's been done 100 years ago. So there is no, you cannot express yourself in a way. 2014, uh, again, back to my love of letter forms. I started to experiment with, with Thuluth style. Thuluth is considered the most developed and the most difficult style of calligraphy. So I started in 2014, uh, uh, trying to, I would say, abstract those letter forms, looking only at the outer and inner shape. So I did some experiments, tried to, to find the justification and link with, with other art movements. Once I start to do that experiment, I find that letters still maintain their beauty, that abstract graphic quality is still there. So it made me to experiment more till I did my first show which I call it Monumental 11-11 in 2015 here in Tashkil, by the way.